If you are a fan of Formula 1, you might have heard teams telling their drivers to pick up rubber at the end of the race. In this video, we will explore why drivers use this strategy. Let's get started. In Formula 1, the racing line is the optimal path around a race course. Driving on the racing line is a primary technique for minimizing the overall course time. As Formula 1 tires are used, they throw off little curls of rubber that accumulate on the side of the track. As a Grand Prix weekend goes on, especially during the race when the track can't be cleaned, this buildup of rubber off the racing line can become incredibly difficult to drive on. This is one of the reasons why overtaking a rival off the racing line can be very difficult. The term driving on marbles refers to a driver who is driving on the rubber buildup off the racing line. This rubber buildup becomes crucial after the conclusion of a Grand Prix. To understand why, let's look at the Formula 1 rules. For 2022, the Formula 1 technical regulations require that the weight of a Formula 1 car be a minimum of 795 kilograms, excluding fuel at the end of a Grand Prix. Failing to meet this minimum requirement can result in disqualification. At the end of the race, the tires of an F1 car can get quite hot. When a driver drives off the racing line after the race, he picks up excess rubber or marbles which end up sticking to the tires. This extra rubber adds to the weight of the car and helps meet the minimum weight requirements set by the FIA. So in summary, when a driver is asked to pick up rubber, all this means is that he's driving off the racing line to gather some extra rubber on his tires to increase the weight of his car. Hope this video helped you learn about why F1 drivers are asked to pick up rubber at the end of a Grand Prix. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula One content.